here by James Dashner. It's it's part of the Maze Runner trilogy. Oh, very topical. I didn't even know that, but <laughs> just just pretend I know that. Dear God, don't say we're recording, are we? Oh no, the book thief doesn't read books, and now everyone knows. <laughs> News. Now! Roll. The. Intro! Yeah, I'm done. Hello, my name is Megan. And I'm Lily. Welcome to MMS News. Remember, we are focusing on the character traits of MMS. And this month's character trait is R E S V E C T. Respect. Respect means a deep admiration for someone or something because of their abilities, qualities, or achievements. Go to the MMS News website and fill the out the web survey to see your name scroll across the screen. We, we can't wait to see what kind of trustworthy students we have met here at MMS. Now we go to our first story of the week, our MMS News story with Megan, the MMS News girl. Hey MMS, it's me, the MMS News Girl. This past week was the week back from spring break, and I hope you had a good one. Anyways, next week we have a talent show tryout Monday and Tuesday. So be sure to grab a slip right outside Mrs. Standard's room. I hope everyone with a talent, which they all want to share, will try out. Then on Friday is an early release, so you get out of school at 1235. Now to a joke from Mr. Reardon. I think that's how you say his name. I always mess up. Make sure you email me your jokes to be on my segment next week. So here it goes. Why is it a bad idea to work for elephants? I don't know. Why? They pay peanuts. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so see you next week, I'm a mess, and let's see who's got talent. Now to the book beef and a book called The Death Cure. Oh, I'm a mess. I hope everyone had a great spring break. Today's book is The Death Cure by James Dashner. This book is a final book in the Maze Runner trilogy. Thomas is held in solitary confinement and he soon gets released. The Rat Man, which is who Thomas is released by, says that there is a cure for a deadly disease called the Flare. Gladers are offered a chance to get a chip removed from them, but if they say yes, Thomas, Teresa, and Eris will get theirs removed and they will not be able to communicate telepathically. All three of them soon escape before they can get their chip removed. What will happen next? Read the book, but read the series first to find out and keep thieving, MMS. Now to the comic collector and Bob about Howard the Duck. Who is Bob? <laughs> Hi, it's me, the comic book collector, with my new friend Bob. Hi, I'm Bob. We have a great character for you. It's Howard the Duck. He's 2.7 feet tall and weighs 40 pounds. He has no superpowers, but is a master at Clash Fu. He is originally from Duck World, where creatures evolved into water fowl. Okay. fowl. <laughs> His first appearance was in Journey into Fear, 19, 1973. Howard was born the eldest son of Dave and Dottie, which were his parents, but beyond enjoying his rocking horse on Christmas as a baby, he disappointed them in every other way. So basically, they hated him. Uh, he couldn't hold down any job, be serious, or couldn't fit into any group. He was the outcast. Instead, he figured he had no use for society, despite his ability to adapt to any situation or society. Uh, his origin is in Howard the Duck 13, 1977, and Howard the Duck uh, 68 in 1980. That is all for now, guys. But remember, the Watcher watches you when you're watching Watchers. Now to Homero and Ian with something special about the Powerpuff Girls. Hey, I'm Mrs. Homero. And Ian here. Today we're going to talk about the new season of the Powerpuff Girls. This show originally came out in November 18th, 1998. The new season started on April 4th, 2016. It may have started already, but you you still can watch it. This show is about three girls that are superpower. They have superpowers and the fight crime. They fight crime, yeah. Their names are Buttercup, Blossom, and Bubbles. They were mixed chemicals and some bad acid went into the mixture mixture and made made them. You could watch a show on demand or central time. That's it for today. Have fun. Weekend. Peace. Peace. Now to Orion with the review on the new upcoming movie, The Boss. 
Hi, let's hope you had a great week. This week I'm reviewing The Boss. The Boss is about businesswoman Michelle Darnell, and she is arrested for insider trading and sent to federal prison. After leaving prison, she's broke, homeless, and hated by everyone. She finds her former assistant, Claire, who lets her into her home. Michelle makes a business idea for a brownie empire, but her old enemies stand her way to the top. The Boss stars Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Bell, Peter Dinklage, and many more. I'm not going to lie, this movie looks pretty boss. I mean, in the commercial, she, she beats the heck out of Girl Scouts, which is awesome. I'm definitely going to see the boss. I'll see you at the movies, MS. See ya. Now to Madeline with the top ten list. Hello, MMS, and welcome to the top ten songs of the week. I hope you all enjoyed your week back to school. Haha, <laughs> I bet no one did. Look on the bright side, though. There's only seven more weeks of school and 35 days. So, Well, that's 35 days. So, um... The 10th song of the week went down one, Cake by the Ocean by DNC. And the 9th song of the week is a new song, Cheap Thrills by Sia featuring Scene Paul. I got you, baby. Baby, I don't need to have fun tonight. Baby. The 8th song of the week went down one, Work by Brianna featuring Drake. Crying, baby, I've been wild. is a new song, Faded by Ellen Walk. The sixth thing of the week went down to, My House by Flo Rida. Welcome to my house, baby, take control now. The fifth thing of the week went down to, Stressed Out by 21 Pilots. When the mama said us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. The fourth thing of the week is a new song, No by Megan Trainor. Is no, my son is no. My the third song of the week is a new song, Work From Home by Fifth Harmony featuring Dallas Sign. Work, 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 but you gotta put work, 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 work. The second song of the week is a new song, Wild Things by Alyssa Cara. For being from you where the wild things are my way. And the top song of the week is it also. Back on the list for seven years by Lucas Graham. Once I was seven years old, my mama told me go. The, ten, the top ten songs of the week is brought to you by Madeline Simo. I hope you all have a great weekend. See you next week. Bye. Now to the next awesome story with Lily the YouTuber. Hey, my name is Lily, but you can call me the YouTuber. Today I'll be talking about Ella Abels. She has over two. 135,000 subscribers on her channel and joined in the beginning of September 2012. Ella posts every Saturday and does a lot of DIY and lifestyle related videos. In my opinion, she's an amazing YouTuber. If you have any suggestions, email me at lasmus298 at d15.org. That's it. So long and good night. This is YouTuber. Make it sure you're liking this and see you next week. Back to the anchors. Nada Makai and Kaylee with another mystery person. And me, Kaylee, and we're back with another celebrity mystery. Congrats to the people who guessed Kim Kardashian, Riley, Lissette, and Sammy. Now let's get started with the five facts. This person is an actress and singer and leading lady of Hollywood. Was born July 24th, 1969. Has played in movies such as Selena, The Boy Next Door, and Enough. Was nominated as the best dance performance. This person lives in Los Angeles, California. That's all we have to, for today. Gmail us at mkiddo802 at d15.org and kbaker391 at d15.org. Bye. <laughs> now to the sports updater with the Warriors and the Bulls. Welcome back. This is the sports updaters, and today we will be talking about how the Warriors can beat the 85 Bulls record. If they, if they beat Minnesota last Tuesday, uh, then they... They need only three more games, three more wins. They have to beat the Spurs twice and the Grizzlies once. And if they and if they don't, or if they do, that's they can beat the Grizzlies. But if they lose any of these games, they have to win the rest of their games. And if they lose two, they can't beat it. That's 
that's it for that's it for now. See you next time. And if and if you have any ideas, email me at m eight two eight six at d fifteen dot org. And Henry Campos at h campos two six four at d fifteen dot org. And now to the world records. Hello, Miss. My world record today is for all the small animal lovers. It's the smallest living dog in terms of height. It is a female chihuahua named Millie, who is 3.8 inches tall. Now that's a purse dog. The record was recorded on the 21st February 2013 and is owned by Vanessa Smeller. She was born on December 1st, 2011 and lives in Puerto Rico. The dog's full name is Miracle Millie and it sure was making the record. That's all I'm going to see you next week. Now to JFL the Ro with Rodney the and Davey. Hello once again people of MMS. My name is Rodney. And I'm Davey. And we are the JFL. This episode is dedicated to cute little bunnies and how their race is going to die. But anyway, let's get to the fails. Number three is the Super Pro Bunny Fail. <laughs> Number two is the Dem Skills. And number one is the I don't know I, I just I don't know. That's it, MMS. Keep laughing your face off. See you later, know. MMS. Remember, you are awesome, and you are one kind, which is a good thing. You are beautiful. You are the bravest people I know. Remember these things. See you, you next, next week. week. Nice. <laughs> this is sports getting too violent. Violence in sports refers to physical acts committed in contact sports such as in American football. Ice hockey, rugby, football, gymnastics, lacrosse, soccer, cheerleading, boxing, mixed martial arts, baseball, wrestling, and water polo. Beyond the normal levels of contact expelled while playing the sport. The, these acts of violence can include intentional attempts to injure a player by another player or coach, but can also include threats of physical harm or act physical harm sustained by players or coaches by those engaging in suspect, spectating of sports. Here are some examples of real life injuries, not with the same name though. Judy just got home from cheer. Her leg hurts really bad, so she goes to the doctor. And her doctor Alyssa tells her that the tell, and she tells Dr. Alyssa that the coaches made her do splits for like five minutes. The doctor checks, and Judy had a pull, mu pull muscle. Jason comes home for a football and tells his dad that his shoulder hurts. His dad, like normal dad, said, suck it up. While the coach from football sent Jason home from football to stay, say to go to a doctor, the doctor said that Jason has a broken collarbone. I personally think, yes, it is beginning too violent. Others may have different opinions. If you're having fun and staying safe, Go for it. If not, it's not worth getting hurt. Kids, if you are sore after a day and just practiced, played, or had a game of any sport, tell your parents. It may be serious.